we're inside a biodome, which is a contained environment it's with a controlled environment. So the heat humidity is controlled. ETFE uh, provides the functionality. It, 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 it offers the same refractive index of glass at 2% of the, of the weight. Um, so that you can, you can build structures that using ETFE covering it for cheaper. See, we're, we're growing 6,000 strawberry plants here vertically in these multiple stacks. And these, these stacks can, as you can see, we're growing them in, the, in a stack of seven. We have nutrient feeding the plants through this pipe here. And that, they go down to these micro drippers, micro feeders, and it, through gravity feed, it feeds, it feeds the whole stack. That's one advantage of a dome is that you can put them into deserts where there's little water resource because you're optimizing water. Or you can put them in island nations where the natural water is maybe brackish or, or you might be using a desalination plant and want to re optimize the water for agriculture. The, the main thing is you can actually control the environment, you can control what the plants are getting so that you know effectively that the, 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 the plants have not been covered with pesticides or, or, or materials to enhance their growth or whatever, um, or even a, a, a sterilization process while they're traveling. You can actually eat fresh fruit local within the area that the dome is. So the more of these, the better.